say February 19, 2020 is approved as written. Just like every other member of the Kentucky House, Representative Josie Raymond cast votes. So I vote no. Meets with the people she represents. You know, let's try to mitigate that type of risk. And is constantly on the move for work. But she does it all with a newborn at her side. Yeah. But who doesn't love seeing a baby I'm in the middle of their work day? This is Faye. She's five weeks old and does exactly what you would expect from a little baby. She'll be doing some tummy time. Um, she'll have a bottle every few hours and hopefully we'll, we'll get a full diaper. That feels so much better. But she does it all at the Capitol so mom can work. We're really figuring it out. You know, I'm the first woman to give birth while serving in the Kentucky State House. And so it's cool to be a, a historic first, um, but there's no one to really guide me in terms of how to navigate it and how to pull it off. Hey, baby. But they are pulling it off. On the fourth floor of the Capitol, they were given a room for face things. We've got our pack and play and our, and our mat and our diaper changing area. And, we're doing just fine up here on the fourth floor. When Representative Raymond is up here with Faye, in between diaper changes and playtime, she keeps an eye on televised committee meetings. And when possible, she takes Faye with her to go do other tasks, like meet with constituents. You need to go forward on that side, or you can try to build a culture within a building. But one thing we took out that And listen to debate on the House floor. And when she needs it, she has help. Okay. I have an incredible husband, um, and then I have a wonderful nanny, a constituent of mine who drives with me from Louisville every day, and I couldn't do it without each one of them. Representative Raymond. Here. Typically during a work day, Faye also spends time with her nanny. I'd like to explain my vote. Which helps out when Representative Raymond needs to question some big bills moving through this year. How do you track cash spending? During that, baby Faye typically takes a nap where mom can see her. Right now, she doesn't cry too much, but that doesn't mean things don't get stressful at times. When we have tough moments and I think, what am I doing? What am I doing here? What is she doing here? You know, I'll hear from moms who say mom goals or, you know, if you could do it, we can do it, these sorts of things. And that's been really heartening. But Representative Raymond knows she's one of the lucky ones. She can afford a nanny and she works a flexible job where she says her colleagues are supportive. The majority party gave me a wonderful gift basket that's bigger than the baby. She knows because Kentucky doesn't guarantee parental leave and child care is very expensive not all families can do something like this. But not everyone has that privilege, right? You know, there's so many women who are back at work already who don't have their baby in their arms. And then there's women who choose to leave their positions because they don't have the flexibility they need to care for their child, right? So it's having these conversations uh, in public, out loud, um, so we can make changes. And to help with those changes, she's fighting for laws that can help Kentucky's families. My top legislative priority here has been bringing pre-K for all to every three and four year old in the state of Kentucky. I've got a parental leave bill, I've got a full day kindergarten bill, right? And I'm living this experience. I know that when we invest in families and mothers and children, right, we empower the whole family, the whole community. And by showing up with her baby, embracing this role as lawmaker and mother, Representative Raymond hopes it changes the way people look at career women starting their families. You know, it's 2020, but we're not used to seeing mothers with very young children serving in office and in the media and in the high positions. And so um, it means a lot to me to have this responsibility, right, to represent and to show that women who've just had babies are fully capable of participating in the public space. So her goal is to make this image, a mother with child, the new normal, especially in Kentucky politics. Circle check the road. We're trying to normalize it, right? I'm the first woman to give birth while serving in the Kentucky State House, but I will not be the last.